Hi guys, I am back with a new tutorial video. After a certain period of time that I was quiet and didn't really frequently update YouTube videos. So I already experienced the challenge of updating you every single week with a new video. But I'm trying, I'm getting there and we're going to be successful together. So please click the subscribe button, click the like button and that will help me a lot with the motivation to create new videos. Well, that's about it about me. Today, we're going to talk about how to sell subscriptions in a WooCommerce store. So first of all, let me tell you why you should begin with offering subscriptions into your web shop. Because subscriptions is a very convenient business model for you as an entrepreneur. It means that you will generate monthly recurring revenue in shortened in MRR, which basically means you know every single month what you're going to earn, how much you're going to earn, and you can basically spend your marketing budget on it because you know what to expect. In this tutorial, I will explain WooCommerce subscriptions, which is, if you ask me, the best solution for offering subscriptions in WooCommerce. You can purchase WooCommerce subscriptions via the link below. It's an official WooCommerce plugin, so it works fluently with WooCommerce itself. And I think it is the best subscription plugin WooCommerce has at this moment. So let me start off by showing you how it looks like. You have two different options for subscriptions into your front end. The first one is a simple subscription, which is similar to a simple product in WooCommerce. It's just a subscription with one price and with one frequency or interval. In this case, you will pay for this product 76 euros a month. And when you click sign up now, it will be added to your shopping cart. The other option you have is a variable subscription. And in this way, you can also give an option based on, for example, the frequency or the interval of the subscription. So in this case, do you want to pay monthly? In that, that case, it's 10 euros a month. Or do you want to pay annually? In that case, it's 100 euros a year. So you can play with that with the variable subscriptions. Besides, of course, playing with the normal product attributes like sizes, colors, etc. So why to use WooCommerce subscriptions? Lots of worldwide payment providers are supported by WooCommerce subscriptions. Stripe, for example, is one of the most common. Mali for the Dutch market. A gen like we offer at Wooza. Go Cardless. Well, you name it. And they offer a compatible plugin with WooCommerce and WooCommerce subscriptions. It supports functionalities such as trial periods, sign up fees, payment retries, suspend the subscription, down and upgrading, create recurring orders and payments automatically, and many more. It is supported by lots of third-party plugins for sending emails like for example automate woo and last but not least woocommerce subscriptions works together with the my account page of woocommerce to let customers cancel or upgrade their subscriptions themselves so now you know what the flexibility is of woocommerce subscriptions let's jump into this tutorial where i'm going to explain every little thing about this awesome plugin how to connect a payment provider in this tutorial i will show a gen as a payment provider in combination with woocommerce subscriptions so when going to payments of course i have the agent plugin already configured I can see over here below all the agent payment methods supported within WooCommerce. And there's another column which you might not have noticed before, but it says automatic recurring payments. And basically every payment that has a check mark behind it supports WooCommerce subscriptions. That's awesome, right? So for example, when you check ideal, it's a Dutch banking payment method. You will think like, hey, ideal, that's not ideal sorry about that for subscription payments because it's an active proactive bank payment well it is not but since sepa direct debit is also a bank payment however in this case the other way around someone will charge your bank account you can verify your subscription with a first payment for example 10 cents and then the recurring payment automatically will be sepa direct debit so therefore it collaborates together the same goes for gyro pay which is a german banking method to pay an order in woocommerce in this case you can do a verification payment and the next payment the recurring payment will be done via separate direct debit in case of credit card both is possible you can do one-time payments and recurring payments and also in this case you can ask for a verification payment just to be sure that you have the correct credit card so basically every single payment method with a check mark behind it in this column can support woocommerce subscriptions so i've shown you the differences between simple subscriptions variable subscriptions 
payment methods. And now I'm going to show you how to purchase a subscription. I've already added a subscription, in this case, the simple one into my cart. Let's check. There I can see it's a price of 76 euros a month. Um, well, in this case, excluding tax. And let's go to the checkout. And there you will see a couple of things. One of the important things is that uh, recurring totals will be added. So normally you only have subtotal, tax and total. Well, in this case, it's a subscription. So we need to know what the recurring total are so subtotal is 76 euros a month recurring total including vht is 85 euros a month and below that price you will see first renewal will be on may 6 2022 so that's correct right because it's the 6th of april at this moment when i'm recording this and the 6th of may is exactly a month later next i need to fill in of course my details and i need to choose a payment method and as you can see only payment methods supported by subscriptions are shown in the checkout so let's do ideal for example let's say test issuer and let's say sign up now continue and it's done awesome um, now you can see also that indeed i have purchased a subscription and i can also see my subscription itself over here so when i go back to the back end and look at it as a web shop owner i besides orders i will have a section which is called subscriptions and there you can see the subscription we just have purchased with the amount of orders so when clicking on that subscription I can see all the details of that particular client. I can see the payment method, of course, the subscription itself and the order, which is just um, paid. Now, what happens? You have multiple statuses within WooCommerce subscriptions. As long as the payment goes well, the status will stay active. But if a payment fails, for example, a recurring payment fails due to credit card issues, it will automatically jump into on hold. And on hold means that no further payment requests will be done until that issue is resolved or you will manually activate the subscription again because you have been in touch with the client. So in this case, if you are planning to uh, start a subscription model with physical products, no worries because it will never happen that you're going to ship an order extra while somebody hasn't paid yet. So that's nice. Also, you have statuses like canceled, expired and pending cancellation which is related of course to cancels pending cancellation can still be reactivated but will be definitely cancelled on the end date cancelled nothing can be returned anymore it's just a definite cancelled subscription and expired means somebody didn't renew his subscription so therefore the subscription and the validity of that subscription expired so as you can see with woocommerce subscriptions you have a lot of access to a lot of data and the most important thing to know with WooCommerce subscriptions is that the subscription itself is the top level of everything that happens within your WooCommerce store. When a recurring payment should be done, a recurring order will be created into WooCommerce and it will trigger the payment also at the payment provider you're using, in this case, a gen. Let me showcase that for you. So I've just shown you we're in a subscription now when we scroll down you will see all the related orders to this subscription. No renewal orders have been made yet, which is makes sense. It's the same day. We can trigger that ourselves by choosing process renewal. And I'm doing that now just to show you how it works. What WooCommerce now will do is create a recurring order. So like I said just before, we're in the subscription right now. And when you scroll down, you will see all the orders related to that subscription. In this case, we only see the parent order which we had just purchased. But once a recurring order will be generated, it will say renewal order. So you know which are renewal orders and which are parent orders. When we go to the order list, all orders will be created and there an icon will be added. So in this case, the dark one is a parent order and the light one is a renewal order. So every single order is related to a subscription then, which is nice. But you can also have, of course, purchases for simple products. And then in that case, you don't see an icon at all. So that's important to know. When clicking on the order to the order, also the subscription again is related. So therefore everything is connected to each other. And you can also always see what is happening. 
Also, last but not least, like I said before, once a renewal order is generated, the payment provider will get a notification like, hey, a payment should be done on a credit card or on a separate direct debit. Please process it and you will get back via the plugin, of course, the actual status of the payment immediately or after a certain period of time. So good to know and to remember, you can both sell subscriptions with WooCommerce subscriptions and just simple one-time products. So you can combine those to have the perfect situation in your web shop for your store. Let's go to the settings of the subscription plugin. We go to WooCommerce settings and then click the tab subscriptions. And there you can configure a couple of things. The first one is add to cart button text, sign up now. Let's say subscribe. And the same goes for the place order button text. And we can say there, um, start subscription. Uh, let me save changes. And then let's see what happens on the product page. Luckily it changed to subscribe and when going to the checkout, it changed to start subscription. So therefore you can choose your own wordings. Also, you can say which default role is a subscriber and which role is an inactive subscriber. So a subscriber is a, a person with an active subscription. An inactive subscriber is a person without an active subscription. Also, you can say accept manual renewals. In that case, WooCommerce will send an order notification with the request to pay. I'm not a big fan of this. It's not user friendly. Payment links are missing. So I wouldn't suggest to use this. I always advise you to automatically charge renewals. Display the auto renewal toggle. You can let people choose to auto renewal or to manually renewal. In case of year payments, that's more common because then you maybe forget that a renewal is coming, but you can also set up an email funnel for that. So I prefer to set up an email funnel for it. So WooCommerce subscriptions works well together with Automate Woo, where you can choose the, the subscription triggers and stuff. So therefore I suggest you to use Automate Woo instead. You can say accept early renewals. I think I've always thought that this is a weird setting, but apparently it happens that people are saying like, hey, I want to renewal now instead of within a month. So basically I want to pay earlier. That's a bit weird, right? Have you ever heard someone who said, let me pay a bit earlier, but never mind, it's an option. You can choose it or not, um, it's up to you. Accept early renewal payments via a model. Well, yes, that's via a model. It's basically a pop-up. Then an important feature, can people switch between subscriptions? And in this case, between subscription variations or between group subscriptions. It's sort of an upgrade or a downgrade. And it's nice because in this case, a WooCommerce subscriptions takes into account what is used within that past period and also with the new subscription. So it will, will calculate prorate what is used and will yeah, then make a refund or calculate a different price for the upgrade or downgrade. So that's nice, it's, it's a nice logic. Synchronization, align subscription renewal day. For example, what happens when you are in a business where it's very common that people don't have money, for example, um, you can say, I want to charge all my subscriptions between the 24th and the 1st of each month, because then I know people will get their salaries and I'm sure that they're paying. So you can choose here to say, yes, I want that and do it on a particular day. So here for all subscriptions, for example, do it on a particular day. Customer suspensions. Yeah. When should a subscription be suspended? How many payments should be filled? Basically, it's an automatic system to make sure that you're not overselling without getting paid. Mixed checkout, allow multiple subscriptions and products to be purchased simultaneously. Allow an initial checkout of zero dollars. Well, in case of a free product, for example, which is a subscription, this can be convenient. Enable dripping for download content. So make downloads available after certain periods of time based on the subscription they've chosen and enable automatic retrial filled recurring payments. Payments. And this uh, needs to have some tiny explanation. The automatic retry on failed payments only works if the client pays with credit card, not with SEPA direct debit, uh, not with other uh, PayPal methods, for example. It only works with credit card. And then don't forget to save changes. 
Last but not least, we have purchased a subscription just now, so I can show you also the My Account page. Let's go to our nice test website, which is awesome. And what you can see over here is that we have added a couple of things. Well, not we, basically, sorry about that. The WooCommerce subscriptions plugin added a couple of things. And the most important one is my subscription page, where you can actually see the active subscription you have, the early renew method, the product within that subscription, but also people can cancel from here. And if they do, the status of the subscription will be in pending cancellation so that you still have time left to call them and say like, hey, I see you've canceled, what happened? What can we do, etc. Do some churn, retention, customer success stuff. It's awesome, it works really well. And then all the related orders, which they can view in detail, but in this case, it's only one order. And when you're in the order, you can see again the subscription. So that's nice. Okay, I think I've, I've told you a lot. I've explained a lot. I've shown you the benefits of WooCommerce subscriptions. I think every single business should think about at least a subscription model because it's convenient for every entrepreneur to, to know what you're going to earn the next month and the month after. The forecasting is way easier and you can invest way better in marketing and stuff. I suggest you to think about a nice model within your business case. And the nice benefit of it is that a lot of payment providers are supported so you can easily set everything up probably with your own payment provider yourself let me know when you have any questions again please subscribe to the youtube channel it's nice to to learn people like you entrepreneurs people who also have motivation and ambition to reach something to help you out with some technical things on a perspective of wordpress bookmark thumbs up subscribe i see you in the next video next week on wednesday ciao ciao